tonight, some growing pains before the launch of Virginia's new mental health crisis hotline next week. Capitol Bureau reporter Jackie DeFusco found out if Virginia is ready to respond to an increase in cases and calls to 988. She's live in the Digital Center tonight. Jackie. Eric Deanna. Well, in some ways, I'm told that Virginia is actually ahead of the curve when it comes to this critical suicide prevention service, but in other ways, playing catch up. On July 16th, the number 988 goes live, making it even easier to access counselors with the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. But ahead of the launch, states are in different stages of hiring, says Laura Clark with PRS Crisis Link. That's a Virginia based call center that will serve as a backup for parts of the country struggling to meet the need. It'd be kind of silly for me not to be concerned for my own staff and how we're going to respond to that volume. However, even in states that are struggling, we are better off today than we were. Last year, Clark says the goal is to answer the vast majority of calls coming from Virginia phone numbers within 20 seconds, though that depends on demand. For their in state service, she says they've hired all the staff they need, but some are still training. So, unfortunately, we will not have our entire staff ready to go for July 16th for our local service, but we are about 80 to 90 percent there. So, we're feeling pretty comfortable with where we're at. According to one health policy tracker, Virginia is one of at least 20 states that have passed laws preparing for the launch of 988, and one of just four states allowing an added fee on phone bills to help fund the expanded system. Virginia still has some challenges we have to face with the call centers, but we were the leader in legislation to support our call centers, and it has put us in a better spot than a number of our partners. But Bill Howard, Virginia's state director of crisis services, says some other states are ahead when it comes to increasing support for the most serious calls that require an urgent response. Our state's in varying levels of development for those teams. Some portions of our state are more developed with our mobile crisis response teams. Some portions of our state are still developing those teams. And I'm told the current 10-digit suicide prevention number will keep working even after that new 988 number launches on July 16th. Clark says the marketing of that new number will pick up next summer, giving states a bit more time to develop these services. Live in the Digital Center, I'm Jackie DeFusco, 8 News.